Last week, the U.S. government rested, and today we began hearing from defense witnesses. First on the stand, Rashad Sharifi, father of Hassan Sharifi, a defendant in this case. He testified that he thought his son was permanently going to move back to Kosovo to live with his wife and other extended family. Later, Mervez Sharifi, Hassan's sister, took the stand. She told the court that at the time of his arrest, the family was in Kosovo with Hassan's wife, who was pregnant, and that he was to be moving permanently to Kosovo to raise a family. Then he sends Sharifi took the stand in his own defense. He said his conversations with Daniel Patrick Boyd about jihad were very general. Sharifi talked about the history of the struggle in his home country in Kosovo, and he would listen to Boyd talk about his experiences in Afghanistan in the 1980s. Sharifi said, quote, I never did have any agreement with him, referring to any plans of attack or jihad. Sharifi distanced himself from Boyd, saying the two had differences in their religious views. The defense witnesses that testify today seem to attack the heart of this case, the idea that there was some sort of conspiracy between Boyd and Sharifi. Sharifi said himself that he planned to move home to Kosovo to raise a family. So the mood today in the courtroom is very different than the past few weeks, and it's going to be more interesting to see the other defense witnesses that are called. Reporting on scene in New Bern, Kevin Riappel, News 14 Carolina.